The Secretary of State's office is celebrating women who made Washington State what it is today. Trailblazers, athletes, newsmakers, and even some news reporters. This is really an exciting day. As Washington's Secretary of State, Kim Wyman is the keeper of the state's history. And for the next year, her office is spotlighting the state's historic women. Like 1912 State Superintendent Josephine Corliss Preston, the first woman elected to statewide office. Current State Supreme Court Chief Justice Mary Fairhurst and former Governor Chris Gregoire, who recalled campaigning to be the state's first female attorney general. An elderly gentleman uh, comes up to me and says, now tell me again what, what you're running for. And I said, well, I'm running for attorney general. And he looked down and shook his head. And I said, is there a problem? Yes, women should not be generals. So <laughs> what a thrill to be included with such outstanding women as Governor Gregoire, as Chief Justice Fairhurst. Former King 5 anchor Lori Matsukawa is one of three King 5 women who are part of the state's new Ahead of the Curve exhibit. The others, retired anchor Jean Anderson, who was the first female to host nightly newscasts in the country and former King 5 owner Dorothy Bullitt, who in 1949 became the first woman to own a TV station. We've known all along that women have contributed a lot to making this a terrific place to live, a society that we can be proud of, and it's about time that they got recognized for it. This exhibit coincides with the 100th anniversary of American women getting the vote, something that was happening here in Washington State in the territory decades earlier. They've got some of the original voting registries on display. Display. For more information about this free exhibit, you can text the word women to 206-448-4545.